Do you want to create a drop down question like that in under 5 minutes? Then this video is all you need. Before that, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon for new updates from us. Today's video will cover insert, select in drop down question, customize and set correct answer, set score and reporting and add event actions. I will demo it for you for single and multiple drop down question. You navigate to the question tab. For a single drop down question, you choose select in drop down. For a multiple drop down question, you choose select in drop downs. You see a new question slide is added here. It includes three parts title, drop down menu, and submit button. With multiple drop downs, you can click the plus button to add more. To remove any drop down, just select and press the delete key. Feel free to resign the drop down by dragging like this. In the format tab, you can quickly format a drop down by selecting one of the built in styles in the drop down style section. Or you can create your own style using tunes in the drop down tunes and style tunes section. I'm now working on a single drop down question, and you can do the same with a question with multiple drop downs. So you select the drop down, then go to interactivity tab, drop down sections, and you can change the name of the hint item to your liking. You can click the add button and fill in all option. Click the remove button to erase. Click the move item up or down button to change order. The index number is the sequence of showing items. If you select one item as default, it will display on the drop down instead of the default text in hint item. Then you can set the correct values by checking the corresponding checkboxes. Uh, a note here. With a multiple drop down question, you have to set the correct answers for each single drop down. Now you navigate to the score and reporting sections. The default mode is graded. This mode allows you to measure learners' performance. And besides, you can select the survey mode if you want to collect learners' feedback or information. Also, you are able to set points for correct answer, set maximum attempts to interact with the question, and set a time limit to finish too. There are two modes to submit answer, auto and manual. You see here, auto means the answer will be submitted right after you select an option. And the menu means learners have to click the submit button to send the answer. Select in drop down question has default events and action like this. However, you are allowed to add, edit, or delete any event actions if you want. For example, I would set up to play correct audio if the learner answer correctly like this. Let's preview! Now you can create a drop down question just within a few clicks with Active Presenter 9. What are you waiting for? Download Active Presenter to practice on your own. Now goodbye and see you in the next video.